at the end of this video you will learn the proper or generally accepted hand posture at the piano and i'll also give you some extra bonus tip to help your hand or finger posture at the piano but that's going to be at the ending part of the video now before we start it's important to know that the five parts of the hand that we're going to consider in this video are number one the fingers so these are your fingers okay you can see this these are your fingers your palm okay this is the second one the third is your wrist this is your wrist the fourth is your forearm this is your forearm and the fifth is your elbow okay so these five parts are what we're going to be looking into one after the other so we're going to treat their proper posture and everything you need to know about them one after the other so let's get into it now it's very important to know use the proper hand posture at the piano in order to avoid things like number one injuries um strain tension and most importantly to be able to play more comfortably and effectively for a longer period of time um, without straining out so the first part is going to be your wrist so this is your wrist it should be raised a little bit above the key okay and not too low or too high and secondly you're not going to let your wrist to be stiff okay so when playing maybe scale or whatever on the piano you don't want your wrist to be stiff okay so you want a kind of flexible wrist that will make you play faster Okay, even on the black or when playing arpeggios. So another reason why you should keep the wrists very flexible on the piano is that it helps you to be able to strike a distant note um, with more ease, with much ease. Okay, so for instance, if I'm striking E, and I want to strike the same E on the on this higher octave, so you can see the distance. And without a flexible wrist, I won't be I won't be able to reach this easily okay so without making my wrist flexible making it stiff how will i be able to reach this is not possible okay or even this yeah. it's not easier okay so your wrist needs to be flexible so you're going to reach higher notes. so i can do something like this you can see something like this my wrist is flexible i can even make it more flexible to strike this or this okay or when i'm descending something like this okay just do something like you're rolling okay so and all these are not possible without a flexible wrist because I have to overstretch and that can cause a serious damage. Now the second part that I want you to consider is your palms. Okay, so this is your palms, and I want you your palm is gonna like assume a kind of doom shape, like a spherical cavity should be under your palms. So remember your wrist is raised high, so your palm should be um doom shape. Is I get a kind of like a spherical ball, so you can use whatever, just trying to create that spherical cavity under your palms. And removing the ball okay so you're gonna see something like this so this cavity is what we want when playing the piano you don't want it to be like flattened it's not going to make you play effectively with flat feet so we want that kind of wrist and hold on that so that you're gonna understand play faster now the next part is your fingers so your fingers are going to be curved so these are your fingers and looking at your finger you see that these four fingers are longer than your thumb so your four fingers are going to be curved in the sand, curved, not kind of straightened. You want it to be curved, okay? And this is your thumb is not going to be curved because it's not as long as this. So you're gonna let it like kind of straight to touch the key. So this kind of hand posture is what it's um, generally accepted as good when playing the piano. So your finger should be curved and shouldn't be straight. And also note when striking the keys, you should use the tip of your fingers. So at this point you want your nails to be cut short okay so that you're going to be able to like understand dive into the keys um, more efficiently okay so you play with the tip of your fingers okay not like okay and not not with the side with the tip okay with the tip of your fingers now for your forearms so um this is your forearm so your forearm should be directly behind your wrist okay so this is your wrist so your forearm should be directly behind your wrist not above it or too low okay just straightly okay and almost like parallel to the keyboard okay or the same level with the keyboard so that's how your forearm should be and this make you play more effectively and smoothly okay 
So. Now, the last part that's going to be very, very effective that you should put into consideration is your elbow. So, this is your elbow. Your elbow should also align with your forearms and your wrist, okay? That it should be kind of 90 degree to the keyboard, to the piano, something like this. It shouldn't be too, as when you are too close to the piano, it shouldn't be too curved or maybe it's too straightened. Let's just be um, just the same length with you and it should be 90 degree. So, you can see like 90 degree to the piano so now the first bonus tip i'm going to give you is that um is when playing any song on the piano it's best to play with the weight of your hand like allowing gravity to like give your hand a push on the keys okay so when playing i don't want to play something like this um, it's good but it's not the best okay so you let the weight of your hand play the keys something like this you raise your hand up and kind of let it drop and it gives you that cool sound. Okay. The second bonus tip is uh, meant to align your pinky, which is your last finger, okay, your wrist and your elbow. So they should be in almost a straight line. So you can see this, they are almost in a straight line and you won't want it to be kind of bent, okay? When you are playing something like this, or anyhow you want to call it something like this, it's not going to be so effective, okay? So it can cause injury. So you want them to be aligned. It's going to make it's going to ease tension, and you're going to be able to play more faster and effectively. And also the third bonus tip is when reaching for notes at the extreme of the piano, that is either the extreme right or left. You remember you have to sit at the middle of the piano, okay? So when you want to reach the sideways, it's better to lean, lean towards your right and strike this, or lean towards your left and hit any note you want to hit. So you won't just try to like scoop the chair or it can even make you fall okay so you just lean gently and you strike those notes and you come down or lean towards your left so that's all from piano poly if you find value in this video subscribe to my channel you can check out on our other videos and these are going to continue uploading helpful videos to help beginners and intermediate players to get better at the piano so we'll see you in our next video